Lisa Vento Nielsen from The Next Step here, making another video installment to talk a little more about the importance of learning and growing on your career. I've been writing a lot of blog posts lately, and I've mentioned before um, in previous posts about my social media strategy and how I use social media to promote both what I'm saying as well as what I'm doing. So I thought it made sense to make another video using a better lighting system and hopefully a better recording system as I did get some feedback for the fact that I'm learning about how to make these videos and how to make them as awesome as some of the videos that you see online. And it's interesting because you kind of try and buy the same things that other people use and then you don't use them the same way so it doesn't quite work as well. So it's definitely been a learning experience for me. And I will say that I have been stepping way out of my comfort zone in terms of promoting my business and really putting my face out there. But at the same time, this is so much of what I've been doing as an educator for the past 13 years. I've constantly been getting up in front of strangers. Um, sometimes 30 at a time, sometimes 40, depending on how many students fit in the classroom, and really selling myself in addition to the knowledge that I can impart on them. See, students can tell right away if you're going to be a good teacher or a bad teacher. They can just tell. And a lot of times they also rely on their friends who have taken your classes in the past to let you know about them. So it's interesting to me that I've always been sought out and I've always had students take my classes more than once. And I think a big part of that is that yes, I do try to be as fair as possible. I did give my first exam back in 2003 and literally raced to the office to scan those scantrons and see how everybody did. And the whole class failed. I'm talking 20s, 30s, 40s. And this was stuff that I really thought they were going to do great. I was distraught. I was so upset. And I remember my mentors, the deans in the office telling me, everybody goes through this. You wrote a test you could pass not a test that your students could pass. So it really was a great insight into, oh, this is what I did wrong. And it helped me continue my career to really focus on how do I get this information across and how do I discriminate between the information that they don't really need to know and the information that they do need to know. And a big part of me and the information that I've always felt my students needed to know is real world. What happens in the real world? The textbook says X, but in real life, you're going to do Y. And really talking about that and spending time talking to them about their resumes and being ready. So I've been running this business for longer than I even remember. But the idea becomes that for you, in your career, you cannot stop learning. You have to continually be able to show yourself as having a competitive advantage. And you have to identify how that competitive advantage sets you apart from all the other people who are looking for positions in your field. Are you able to jump between industries? If not, why not? If you come to my project management seminar in February at Wagner College, Office for Lifelong Learning, you will be more equipped and more prepared on changing industries, changing careers, changing everything about what you are and who you can be in terms of your career. And as I've mentioned in a previous video, you really must treat your career as a job. You must manage it as is it is its own business. You are your own business, your brand, what you represent and how you represent it. And really working with me in March and talking about how to get to your next step at Wagner College can help you do those things where I'm going to be talking about communication, how to brand yourself, how to really promote yourself for any position. So I really look forward to bringing my unique style of teaching to those who really could use some help with identifying and moving towards their next step, whatever those may be. And again, I'm the prof who makes you the present, and I literally am the teacher um, who has been doing this for so many years and who was really focused on identifying the best ways to communicate and to identify people's strengths and skills in order for them to be perfectly ready to get to their next step. Happy hunting.